You're live on Lunch Break Live! Hey guys, welcome to Lunch Break Live. Um, today I'm going to make a corn casserole. I call it Christian's corn. Call it whatever you want. It's super easy. It's a side dish. Great for this time of year. Um, so it's going to happen really quick, so pay attention. Okay, <laughs> first I am putting in one cup of almond milk. Okay. You can use... Um, I'm just going to turn this heat up. You can use... Whatever, you know, soy milk or almond milk, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. It's a half a cup of vegetable broth. Okay. Half a cup. What's your vegetable broth? Show us so we can help people make these smart shopping choices. Pacific Organic Vegetable Broth. Terrific. All right. And then we've got a half a cup of fine ground cornmeal. Now, this is medium ground, but I, I needed fine, so I put it in the bullet and made it fine. So you, if you can't find fine, you can find medium and then you just put it in the bullet. Yeah. Perfect. And that is a half a cup. Oh, sorry. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. Mm. Okay. So and by the way, welcome to our plant-based kitchen. And this is a great uh, Christmas hangover recipe. You know, sometimes when we wake up, we just want that comfort food. So what um, I'm going to do now is just, oh, um, uh, Nikki Michelle wants to know sweetened or unsweetened milk. It's unsweetened. I'm going to sweeten the dish with sugar. Show us the um, almond milk that you use. I used this. Uh, yeah, this is excellent. It has no palm oil in it, which is hard to find sometimes. And so uh, this is what we use. Califia Farms, unsweetened. And it's, by the way, 35 calories per serving. All right. All right, so I'm just letting this get a little thick. Mm -hmm. um, so just bear with me for a minute. And it up. people are just joining us. What's for lunch? Okay, it is a uh, vegan corn casserole, or you can call it creamed corn if you want. I made it yesterday for my family. Everybody really loved it. It's a little bit sweet. Uh, a little savory. Yeah, a little savory. You know, my mom used to make the creamed corn when I was a kid at all the holidays, and I loved it. So I sort of wanted to try to bring that back in. Okay. I'm going to put the heat up a little bit more. Okay. It's on high, Jane. <laughs> she doesn't like it when I give, when I give it. <laughs> and, of course, this is we're veganizing this to prove once again that there is absolutely no reason to use milk stolen from a mama cow uh, because, you know... If uh, we take the milk, that means that the baby calf has to be removed from the mother uh, because otherwise the baby calf would take the milk. So it's cruel. It's cruel. All right. So it's thickened up a bit here. Oh, you wait till it's thickened. Well, okay. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And then now I'm putting in, two, I believe this was two and a half cups of, oh, I don't want it to boil. Stop. Okay. okay. No boiling. Hold you on. don't want it to don't, boil. Oh, don't want it to boil. Okay. okay. So I'm going to throw my corn in there. And that's frozen. Frozen corn. Frozen organic corn is what I used. Mmm. Wow. So get all that corn in there. And this is so fast. You want to make sure you keep stirring it. You don't want lumps. Uh, all right. Yeah, you okay, don't now want I'm lumps. going to put in two heaping tablespoons of vegan uh, margarine. I used this. Okay, let's see. Let's check it out. Earth Balance. Um, also, Miyoko's. I really love Miyoko's because it's palm oil free, but Earth Balance is not dairy. And um, so that's definitely better than dairy. All right, and then I'm going to add some sugar. Now, I don't have an exact me measurement for the sugar, so I'm going to put some in. Ooh. And then I will look at this. Have a little taste. Anita Ricky says, "Yum! Love your cooking sessions. I get inspiration for my vegan restaurant from nice. your recipe. Wow, Wonderful. that's pretty. Uh, that's uh, that makes me happy. Yeah. Perfect. All, All right. right. So the margarine is in there melting up. I'm constantly going to be stirring it or whisking stirring, it, stirring. whisking it, whisk, really. Whisk, whisk. Um, and then I'm going to just." I've got a lot of clean spoons over here. Yeah. I just you yes. have to taste it to see if this is not sweet double enough. dipping. A little more sugar. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and you well, can I, use whatever sweetener you want. If you want to use no agave, if you want to use stevia, um, if you want to use maple syrup, doesn't matter. Yeah. You could use maple syrup, you could use and somebody wanted to know, Nikki Michelle, can you use canned corn? Yeah, sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Or fresh, whatever you want. 
Bear Craving says, yum, I have a YouTube channel and I'd love to do this. Go for it. We don't want the exclusive on this cream corn. <laughs> our whole our whole purpose in life is to get people to start Oops, making this. Mess. Okay. It's to get people to start, start making these wonderful plant-based dishes, save the planet. I just read in the New York Times how animal agriculture is... Uh, destroying Latin America. It's certainly destroying the United States. It's the leading cause of climate change. We don't need to use animal products. Look at that. Look at how wonderful that is. And yum, you can yum, add yum. Um, a little bit more corn if you don't want it to be quite so creamy. If you like it to be thicker, you can add a little bit more cornmeal. You know, you can play with this recipe and get, the, get it the texture you like. You can also try baking it. What? We're not going to do that today. But, yeah, you could bake it into more of like a casserole type. Thing. Oh, if you made it, yes. Okay. Look at All that. Right. Now, we've been doing this um, less than seven minutes. Under ten minutes I like you it. can make this. I like it a little bit more sort of like um, soupy almost, if you will, mm, yeah, like that. Yeah, Some people like it a little thicker. You know, it's whatever yeah. you prefer. So I think Misty Ferguson says hi, and Valerie Amos says hi. Hi, ladies. Let me just. She's doing her final it. test test. Remember, we're not double dipping. She has different spoons. We always have the double dipping police. That's good. There. I think we're ready. Right so wait. Um, yes. Oh, we're gonna. We have a very special guest here at our plant-based kitchen today that we're very excited about. A woman who is a, a famous animal advocate and known for her TED talk. Uh, that was just featured uh, nationally um, for Christmas, um, along with a very uh, notable group of folks. You want to come on in here? Come on in! Simone There you go. Uh oh, How let's delicious see. Delicious is this? Looking. I'm sure, it's amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So good. It's good, right? It's so hearty, and like it's a little bit chilly here. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Good. I love it. I love it. Thank Woo! you. <laughs> Thank you, right. Simone. So once again, give us the the lowdown. Uh, just give us run through it real quick. Okay, I used um, organic frozen corn. If you want to use fresh or canned, that's okay too. Yeah. I used vegetable broth. Mm -hmm. I used this is the key because this is the corn meal. meal. The meals always scare me. Cornmeal, you just put it in there. If it's medium, you grind it up with a bullet to make it fine, right? Yes. Um, I used unsweetened almond milk. Yes. I used some earth balanced yes. butter to give it that buttery flavor, and some cane sugar. But you could use and agave. Salt. Yeah, and you salt. can use whatever sweetener you want. And then uh -huh. I, you know, you. You saw, you got to watch the video to see exactly how I did it. All right, and we're going to post the recipe. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Happy New Year.